Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Make Up Monday. It is you guys happy to hear. So as y'all can see, I'm pretty excited for this video because I got my hands on some Fenty Beauty products. And if you guys do not know, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a zillion videos on these products. But Fenty is Rihanna's own makeup line. I know a lot of people thought that it was a collaboration with Fendi, but Fenty is her last name. I did a little, some little research before I bought these products. Um, I bought this initially online and I bought the color that I got was too dark I went to Sephora I got tested got my right shade so the foundation and the highlighter trophy wife was the only two products that I was really interested in I really wanted to get the primer as well but you guys you guys know I don't I don't purchase high-end products a lot of the time at all pretty much so this was $34 and the only reason that I was able to get this is because I had a gift card. What I thought that I would do as well is kind of go on the Sephora website and just kind of give a little insight about what the foundation claims. It does say that it's medium to full coverage. It's good for all skin types, which I think is pretty cool. Someone who has dry skin, I don't know how that would work for you. I have combination medium, not combination medium, combination oily skin. So, and the finish is matte, which I'm super excited about. So, it says that this foundation comes in 40 shades, you guys. And come on, personally, that's one reason why I really had to support Rihanna on this collection. Because 40 shades, like, you, sh anybody, everyone should be able to find their shade. It's a pro filter soft matte longwear foundation. Gives skin an instantly smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. It's an oil free formula and it's made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity. One clog pores so that wherever you are, it's going to work for your skin. It says, best of all, it's long wearing light as air texture is undetectable on the skin so you always look like you and it is this whole brand is 100 percent cruelty free this is what the carton looks like i know a lot of people were kind of complaining about the packaging they thought it was going to be more spectacular because it was rihanna and then they thought oh it's fin fendi so i'm like girl come on do your research so this is what it looks like here So yeah, I'm not a huge, huge fan of white, but the good thing about this, it's not, this material is not like cardboard or anything. So even if it gets dirty, you should be able to wipe it clean with no problem. Opening this up, and it has a mirror, which is bomb and y'all. Seriously. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, not only am I going to use a highlight on my face, but I'm going to do a little eyeshadow look with it as well. But before I start that, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I actually found this on clearance at Target. It was normally $10 and it's on clearance for $5. And this says that it is a multi-purpose primer infused with salicylic acid, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, vitamin E and tea tree to help control breakouts and blemishes. It helps prepare your skin and fill in lines so makeup goes on evenly for a long lasting matte finish. So I really wish I would have got the primer because I'm pretty sure when foundations come out with primers to match it, obviously the primer that comes with it is probably going to work the best with it. And this is clear, which I'm happy about because So now that that is on the skin, I want to give it time to kind of settle into the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyes. I'm going to use the Maybelline, what is this? The um the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe. I'm going to go into my Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to go ahead with this orange color as a transition shade. And I'm just going to use a Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Next up, guys, I'm going to go in with this yellow. And with another Sonia Kashuk brush. This is like a flat brush. And we're going to go in with this Beauty Right Chia and put that all over the lid. It, oh my god. I'm going to use my NYC liquid liner, you guys. Okay, 
guys, next I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to use this new Lancome one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Next up, the foundation. So you guys saw the box here, similar to the highlighter. And this is the packaging here. I know, again, a lot of people didn't like it. I don't have a problem with it at all. On the back of it, it does say shake well. So let's go ahead and give this a nice shake. Okay, take this off. So glad it has a pump. Now I'm going for full coverage today. Full coverage queen. I'm going to use my Echo Tools sponge. As you guys can see, I do have some discoloration, some dark marks. Usually I would color correct before I put on foundation. But considering that this foundation costs $34, honey, I feel like it says it's medium to full coverage. I should be able to cover this up. Okay, that's all that came out. Hey guys, that's typically how much I use anyway with any foundation. So it is a little bit runny, which is why it is good to shake it up. As you guys can see, this was about that first pump was wasn't really a full pump, so maybe three and a half pumps, and. Yeah, as you guys can see, this is a pretty good match for me. Again, I have the color 410. You guys can see it's pretty, pretty matte. I am going to take one more pump because I do want to kind of cover up a little bit more of my darker areas. Okay guys, so that is how that looks. I am really loving the color and I love how it dries down really, really quick. You guys see, this is matte. I'm going to go ahead and highlight now. I'm going to use my favorite NYC Photogenic Conceal. This is the color Caramel. I really like how this is turning out so far like products are laying very good on top of the foundation so far it's not creasy no cracking or anything but I do like to hurry up and set my I'm just gonna set my whole face with this this is the it cosmetics bye bye pores pressed powder and it is a translucent powder so I'm gonna use a big Sonia Kashuk brush going to contour I'm going to use the true complexion contour palette by black radiance and I'm going to use that moda pro brush I got from last month's boxy charm Now I'm going to use a little bit of blush. When I ordered the foundation, I did get this free sample of the Makeup Forever blush. Use another Moda Pro. This is their blush brush. Try to get a little bit out of this pan here. Oh, looks like a little bit's coming out. Okay guys, so next before I do the highlight, I'm going to do my lipstick. I'm going to use one of my favorites from Avon. This is the Marvelously Mocha. And I'm going to go ahead and put a lip gloss on top of it. This was part of like a Disney collection or something. This is like really, really old. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna put this on top. Okay, guys, so now it is time for a highlighter on the face, everyone's favorite part. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up. I'm so excited! Okay, and I'm gonna use one of my mermaid brushes. This is pretty good for a highlighter, and I better be very gentle with this. That little, little bit, like barely touching it, you guys, like barely touching it, and look. Like, oh my god. Like, are you kidding? At least I'm going to spray my face with the Absolute New York Mattifying Spray. This is 
the final look using these two products as well as products I already had but overall this is a first impressions one thing that really impressed me is about this foundation is the fact that it has 40 freaking shades not only that is that the shade and this bottle matches my skin perfectly like I don't see where it does not match like where it matches and this highlighter is bomb like, I know a lot of people don't like this highlighter that's like can we just like bing 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 like I love it and you guys see you're able to use it as an eyeshadow as well at least I was like hey let's just use this eyeshadow like why not I love that the foundation as you're kind of patting it in it like instantly gets matte it's not something you have to wait a couple minutes for it to dry down it's like as you're buffing it out it starts to you know get matte which is awesome now I am gonna be testing this foundation out for the rest of the day so I'm gonna come back and it's now 12 13 I'm about to go to my mother-in-law's house hang out there for a bit and then I'll come back right before I have to take my makeup off I don't know what time I'm gonna get back here y'all maybe 10 11 o'clock at night but it is very humid outside right now I woke up and I was like sweating so not only is it going to be a first impressions, I'm, this is going to be like a, we, we're going to try it out throughout the day. And then I'll come back and let you guys know. Um, I'm usually on Snapchat, so I'm not sure. I might throw in a couple snaps just of me wearing the foundation. But yeah, so overall it's looking pretty good right now, you guys. It's looking pretty good. So yeah, I'll check you guys out in a couple of hours. Bye. Okay guys, so it is now 12.45 in the morning. So as you guys can see, I am just a tad bit oily in my T-zone area, which uh, really not to, you know, tripping about that. But the thing I like, as you guys can see, my makeup is kind of messed up underneath here because the foundation is so lightweight, I really forgot that I had makeup on, so I was like wiping my eyes. But other than my t-zone being a little oily other than that it looks pretty good as you guys can see the highlighter is still on using it as a eyeshadow is still on the highlighter is a little sparkly a little glittery so if you don't like that then you're definitely not gonna like this highlighter but as you guys can see there splinging so yeah overall i do like the foundation definitely has thumbs up for me it's very lightweight as you guys can see it lasts a long time now what you can do is if you're a little bit oily you just have to what I usually use is the professionals by benefit I usually put that in my t-zone area and that kind of helps me you know kind of helps control my oil a little bit more and then you guys know trophy wife everyone loves this highlighter and I love it too it's, you know it's kind of multi-purpose so I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video again if you guys have, have tried these products yourself Leave it in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think of it. So, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye!